everyone. So I am sorry that I look so horrible, but I just got back from friends <laughs> um, and I haven't had a shower yet, so I'm sorry, but of course I will. I'm not going to stay unwashed for the rest of my life. But um, anyway, I got back and I had all my Christmas presents open and some things that I ordered online and a couple, not really a couple, one thing that I brought back from France all together oh, and my birthday presents to combine a huge, not that huge, um, collection of things slash whole thing type thing, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, of all my horse stuff that I got for Christmas and birthday and just bought and whatever I just said. Okay. So, first thing I ordered a couple of months ago, well, no, it would have been maybe like four or five months ago now, um, and I had some, like, eBay difficulties, like we had, like, um, I ordered it from eBay, obviously, and um, we had some PayPal difficulties, and I don't know, it was really, like, friendly on both, both halves, like, it wasn't either of our faults, but, um, so anyway, it took a long time for it to arrive, and I'm only just getting it, like, now. Um, but anyway, um, this I ordered from eBay for around, including shipping, around, um, $15, I think. Um, and anyway, it is a, um, brown leather bitless bridle, um, and this is for Monty. It is in the size Cobb. Um, I don't know the seller's name, um, but I can leave it in the description. Um, and it's a cro cross under bitless bridle. It's just brown leather. It's in size cob. I don't know if I said that because Monty has a very small head for a thoroughbred. Um, and sometimes the full is a bit too, like it can't go quite small enough in like length. I don't know. Um, but this will be able to go large enough just in case. Um, I just find that cob is a better fit. And it came with um, uh, the matching reins, which I really, really like because they're like the sort of rubber, like, uh, oops, getting caught with the next thing, um, like grippy, like elastic reins, which are my favourite types of reins. They're really, like, easy to hold on and, you know, they don't get too, like, hard to use in winter. Um, and they just match. So they look like that. They're not too long, but um, with a bitless bridle, you don't need long reins because it's got the. Uh, I mean, with a cross under bitless bridle, it's got the little uh, like thing, the cross under straps that make the reins longer. So that's this. Um, so that's the first thing that I got. Um, so that wasn't a present. I bought that, um, and then next I got. Uh, this necklace for, for Christmas from my French family um, and we got it from, well they got it from uh, please don't laugh at me if you're French or you know how to pronounce this but Puy de Fou I think it's apparently the biggest or rated the best theme park in uh, uh, Europe I believe but I'm not sure, and sorry, I'm just looking at my wall, I just noticed something stuck to my wall that wasn't there before I left, so I'm going to check that out later. Um, but anyway, I'll show you. It is just a little um, horseshoe, and they actually got it engraved with my name, and my um, French sister, well, French exchange student has won the same. Anyway, it says Caitlin. Um, and hers is the same, so anyway, uh, moving on, because that's just taking too long. Um, now, this stuff isn't really in any order, but I'll just tell you. So, first thing I got from Santa is this uh, purple hay net. Um, it's a bit confusing. It's tangled, but the bottom's like here, 
and the top is like that. I don't know, it's really big. I think it's a large size paint it. Um, and I believe that is Roma brand, but I'm not sure. So I got that. And then um, I got a sponge, because you can never have too many spon sponges. This is also from Santa. Oh, inside this, um, which I don't believe it has the brand, but um, it's a like uh, noodle uh, sponge, because it's got the sponge on this side, um, like inside it, and then it's got like a like elastic thing. Hopefully my camera's broken, focusing enough for you to see this, that your hand just fits in there. And then it's really like good to like shampoo and really like um, clean your horse and also it's really soft so it'll like massage as well as cleaning. Um, I think that's Roma brand but I could be wrong. Um, and then the next thing I got were, let me just get these tags so I can tell you what they are. Um, these uh, gloves which are for by HV Polo and it, um, it doesn't have a name, it just says the article number, but they're the air blue grey colour, is the colour, um, and so they, they're just like riding gloves. Um, they've got a velcro tab here with the um, HV Polo um, sign there. I'm going to just come up close so you can actually see. Um, so that's what they look like on the front and the on the underside. It's like this leather, like not leather, um, suede with the HV. It just says HV all over it, which is the grips, and it looks like that. And then it's white in between the fingers. They're just very pretty, um, really nice gloves, and it's sort of like a like a fake leather material. Very, very pretty, and I love these. So they're by HB Polo, which is sold exclusively at Horseland, I believe, that Santa gave them to me. Um, and then next I have these uh, chaps, which um, are the Dublin... Um, I wonder if they have a name. Uh, no, it doesn't have a name. But anyway, they're just like the Dublin suede chaps. I'm pretty sure they only have a couple of different types in the suede ones, all suede. Um, and they're just black. On the outside, they have like the like ribbing, and then on the inside, it's got the thing. Just the regular chaps. And I hadn't, I haven't used chaps for um, a long time since I got back into riding since I was little. Um, so I'm so glad to have a pair of chaps. I love riding in chaps, um, especially when it's cold. It's really, really like helpful. So they zip um, like from the top down, which I find a lot easier because then the zip doesn't like come undone when you're riding. Love these. Um, and then, um, also from Santa, I got um, these uh, jodhpurs, which are just uh, the, let me find the name, um, uh, I think they're the Dublin uh, mid, they're like mid, like they're not high, they're not low, they're mid. Um, full seat jodhpurs. I don't know exactly what their name is, but um, they have the, they're not like pull-ons, they have the zip and button, which I love. And they're just in like the, it's like tan, not tan, um, well the seat is tan and then it's sort of like a yellow. Um, and I, as I said, they're full seat and I, prefer, oh, like really, really prefer riding in full seat, just because it's really grippy and like, I love it. Um, I just love riding in full seat, so I got these, um, and I don't know, I think that's all I can say about those. Um, 
and then I'll just compare you the colour. Then I got these ones um, I ordered online. You can see there's a bit of a colour difference. These ones are, I would call these ones tan and these ones are more like yellow. These are just the Saxon um, cotton uh, pull-on jodhpurs. Um, and I don't know how much these were, but I I do believe they were like less than 20. I got them on sale um, from Horseland and they're really, really good. So I, like a really good price. So I just like, yeah, I'll just um, get them while I, while I can, just for a, a spare pair. Um, they're just pull-ons and they only have the, like, the knee patches. They're not uh, uh, full seed or anything. And they do have belt loops, but um, there's no actual real zipper. It's just a fake um, fly. And uh, yeah, at the back they just look like that. Um, and yeah, so I bought those and I really like them. Uh, then um, I also bought from Horseland this Roma um, fleece half pad. So it's not wool, it's just um, synthetic fleece because I cannot afford um, a real wool one. Um, I, if you're Australian um, in the horse world, you know it's extremely difficult to find like um, good quality products for a low price. So, um, yes, this probably isn't going to last me forever, but I really wanted to try out using a half pad. And this one was about $30, I think, and then I got it on sale. No, I think I got it $30 on sale, and they only had black with the white, which I think is pretty cool too. Anyway, like I probably would have chosen this colour anyway. Um, and then it, the fleece is really soft, and I think if I hand wash it and don't machine wash it, it should stay nice for a little while um, if I take good care of it. Um, and I got this in size full. Um, and that's just what that looks like. I'm really excited to try this out um, with my boys. Um, and then I got also from uh, Horseland online, I bought this uh, Practical Choice um, Basic uh, Saddle Blanket, which was also on sale. I do not remember how much it was, but it was under twenty dollars. Um, which it's extremely hard to find, like saddle pads that are just normal saddle pads, good enough quality, like um, for a reasonable price. Like it's difficult to find one under fifty dollars. I don't know. Maybe I just don't look in the right places. Please give me some advice. Like I find eBay is a good place to look, but still. Um, anyway, I really wanted to get in to start riding in white saddle pads um, because I really, really like them um, and um, I'm just in need of saddle pads. Before um, today, <laughs> I had only had um, three saddle pads and I have two horses. One of them was new, that I bought new. The other two were bought, like, well, came with saddles that I bought and they're really old and scruffy and really nasty, so... I definitely needed saddle blankets and also I needed some so I could rotate them through the wash because um, it does take a long time to dry in winter but they do still need to get clean so anyway this is sort of more creamy colour than other than white but it did say it was white um, I'll just show you what the little that's what that is I hadn't heard of this brand before um, but anyway there we go it's only got the uh, uh, girth loop, it doesn't have the billet straps, but I don't use the billet straps ever, <laughs> um, just because it takes too long. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Um, and then, um, from Santa again, um, I got, this is one of my favourite um, presents, uh, is I got three of these uh, saddle blankets. They're all purpose. All those ones I showed you were all purpose, just in case um, it wasn't obvious. But this is the shape they look like. Um, 
I don't know what brand they are. I don't think it says. Um, so I don't know where they're from and I don't know what brand they are, but um, anyway, I got a three pack of them, or I got three of them. Um, they're in size full and uh, they've got the billet straps, they've got the girth loops, um, and it's really um, quite a light saddle saddle blanket. It's really um, quite thin down the bottom here, and then more padded, more heavily padded up the top, which I really like. And these will be really good in summer, which is what it is now, and also um, layering with other pads in uh, winter when I'm using my not so nice saddle. Like when I'm using my Wintec, um, using it's better to use a thin pad. But when I'm using my uh, uh, Kincaid, it's usually a better idea to use a thicker saddle, saddle blanket. Just that's the way I do it. But anyway, I think these look really nice how they've got the um, sort of line dividing it. I think they look really pretty. So I love these and I'm very excited to use them. Um, so there's one, the two, and the three. And again, it doesn't say the brand on this at all. So. I don't know where these are from, but I got them from Santa, so, um, yeah, I don't know if you can get them elsewhere, who knows. Um, then this is another little, um, kind of course related, kind of not, um, uh, uh, what am I saying? It's kind of course related, but, um, it's also not. <laughs> I got this for, uh, Christmas from my uncle, and it's just a torch. It's um, just high country, but this is going to be really useful when I go out and feed the horses at night because it's really small but very, very bright too. Um, I can easily just carry this, and it's not some huge torch which I usually lug around this huge like thing, and um, then it's hard to like carry the food and this massive torch, so this will definitely come in handy. I've already used it tonight, so. Um, then, the last, but definitely not least, my biggest present um, was my birthday present, um, which is these, uh, where does it say, here, uh, Dublin Intensity Pull-On Jod Pub Boots, and um, these are Definitely very, very, very nice boots. I love them a lot. I'm not going to say the price, but you can probably find out yourself. Um, and these look so, so pretty. These are like my babies. And I'll probably do a full-on review on these once I actually ride in them. They fit me perfectly, perfectly, which is really lucky. Because in the past, when I have um, got gotten boots for my birthday, I had like... Um, grown out of them before I actually um, received them as a present, <laughs> so luckily these ones still fit. Um, they look very, very nice. They're not just your traditional dog boots. They've really got a lot of um, like support in them. Uh, there's like a big like you, up here. It's like squishy leather, and down here that's like a really tough. So these are like they're in black, and I'll show up close some of the extra details but then it's got like the nice little toe and they're really shiny and pretty love them a lot it's got a leather pull on um whatever you call these because uh often with the cloth of like the fabric ones i always like rip them off which sucks but these ones are guessing won't rip off because it's actually part of the boot but i'll show you up close to show you how actually pretty these are these are absolutely beautiful on the back they have a little horse you can see that and then it says dublin and it's got um little thing uh i'll try and see if there's any information i can read off the tags that might be useful um but they look really pretty and on the bottom they're like red and silver they're just really nice i needed new boots um and my feet are still growing, but I think these will fit me for a long, long time. Hopefully I won't grow out of them, uh, ever. 
uh, these will definitely last me a long, long time. And because they're really like sturdy, like you can't even twist them, they will definitely help me with my foot position when I'm riding and um, help me like keep my feet, um, heels down, feet in the saddle, like a stirrup, sorry. Um, uh, so let's see if there's any thing I can read you about that. Um, well, I say they've got the ortho light technology, comfort from the heel inside out. <laughs> um, uh, they say like a neutralizing <laughs> thing. Um, yeah, so they've got the ortho light system. Blah 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 blah. It says. Um, Ortholite system made from a unique compound using ortholite for increased breathability and wick away moisture, leaving your foot drier. The full, uh, the full length foam acts as a stable cushion base to lock the foot down and provide support. Features heel wall and arch support for optimum fit. And then it says, enhances. Uh, forefoot and heel feel while promoting better air and circulation com com for comfort. Um, so basically, like reading on there's a lot more, but it says like these will actually help you keep your feet in the right position, like help you feel when, like feel what you're doing really. Um, because I know that I definitely, in the canter, I bring my legs forward and hopefully these will help me to like feel like weight in the heel, weight in the heel, keep your legs back because <laughs> my um, my riding instructor she make she always like jokes at me like when I go to like um, stop I always push my legs forward and she's like you're not on the car like you don't need to use your foot as a brake but I always do it I always like push my feet down when I'm braking well not braking but <laughs> halting <laughs> and um, yeah definitely something I need to improve, but um, yeah, I'm very excited to ride in these and they're very beautiful. So if mum and dad are watching it, thank you so much. I love you so much. Um, thank you everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and um, everyone who's been watching my videos. I love you all so, so much and hopefully I will be making a lot more horse videos in the year to come and in the like, years to come in forever. Um, just videos on everything. Um, I definitely have quite a few videos I want to make, like including a room tour, hopefully, um, sometime in the future, but we'll see. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll talk to you soon.